there's a lot of units in Dokkan that I would assume as a community we can agree are very, very powerful. For example, LRSTR Vegito or AGL Full Power Frieza. But then there's some other units that I see a lot of people just smack around in disrespect. And honestly, I'm not having it, okay? So in this video, I'm going to be listing, in my opinion, in my opinion, some, not all, some of the most underrated units in this game now let me mention before i hop into this that again there are millions of people playing dokkan i don't keep my eye on all or, or every single player playing this game so you may run some of these characters all the time so you may disagree and that's perfectly okay this is just from my point of view and since there's millions of players there's millions of point of views there is no right or wrong answer just what I feel um, people, you know, disrespect or people don't really talk about enough or people don't really utilize enough. Again, from my point of view, let me know in the comment section below some of your personal, you know, opinions about some underrated units. Do you agree with my list, etc., etc. Let's just hop straight into this. And of course, today's subscriber challenge, hear me out, is if you think this Takiyamcha <laughs> is the most underrated unit in this game, look at this, 2,000 defense at the start of turn. If you think this guy is underrated, then you gotta subscribe. All right. And now, if you don't think he's underrated, I don't. I, I mean, you're wrong. But if you don't think he's underrated, uh, then that's fine. Um, I'll get you to subscribe in next video. But in the next video. But I do appreciate you being here. And uh, let's just hop straight into this. So the first unit on this list. Let me just go ahead and cancel this guy out. Is this STR Android 17? Now, uh, this guy does have a counterpart, the Int uh, EZA Android 18, and she's also very, very good. But I think this guy's kit specifically um, allows him to excel. And I feel like a lot of people don't really talk about this guy. Now, sure, he's not on the craziest teams, but I mean, I think he's this. He could be a staple option on on basically all of his teams because he is like built to be with an android 18 and there's a lot of android 18s in this game so he does stack defense on his super attack he is a rainbow orb changer which again adds value to the team that he's on even though it's not really a lot um he gets 70 percent attack and defense and a little chance of crit which isn't really you know a big deal but i would say his main focus here is an additional 80 percent to attack and defense and medium chance of launching additional super attack when your team has Android 18 attacking in the same turn. So this guy, when you have Android 18 with this guy, which again, they're both Android, so they're both sharing a lot of very powerful links. What ends up happening is that this guy has 150% to attack and defense. He's a rainbow orb changer while he's stacking defense, right? And because he has that medium chance of launching additional super attack, this guy can literally perform three super attacks per turn, right? His own then the medium chance, and then the one from the additionals uh, that, that you end up giving him, which I would say give him because he does stack defense, right? Any unit who stack defense, you want to give them additional. So this guy can stack defense up to three times per turn with 150% attack and defense. Very good links that he will be sharing with the unit you want to be running him with. So this guy, by all means, has a lot of value to him, and I don't really see a lot of people rocking him. on. I, I don't think I've even seen one screenshot with this guy on their androids team or anything like that and i do run androids from time to time and whenever i do i always make sure to have this guy and another android 18 on my team because again these guys are very very powerful so uh this guy is very very powerful let me know what you think about this um do you agree do you disagree let's move on to my second unit on this list which is going actually let's talk about this okay i've been wanted i've been wanting to mention this for a very long time this blue goku and uh, this blue vegeta i think are criminally underrated and i think a lot of people that don't see the value um are about to be you know uh, about to be a little you know you know okay let, let's just hop straight into this because again like i i feel like maybe pe i feel like recently people may have been um introduced to their worth but in long events specifically these units are absolutely crazy so they get attack and defense plus 30 percent per or that they obtain okay no they get 20 let me just because i was trying to talk about both of them at the same time but this goku gets 20 percent attack and defense per orb obtained same thing with this vegeta right but an extra 10 percent attack and defense when they go ahead and collect their own physical uh, keys for which is physical for this goku and tech for this vegeta 
But the very powerful thing about these units is that they change orbs. There's turns where you hop in and they change like so many orbs. And then, dude, when you go ahead and collect all those orbs, they get 30% attack and defense per orb obtained. Like, their attack stats and defensive stats end up looking very, very, very powerful. And of course, they both stack attack and defense. So what happens is in long events, okay, in long events, they come in, they change orbs, they grab all those orbs, they, their attack set is looking really, really good. Their defense is pretty high. They're healing a crazy amount because remember, the higher your defense is, uh, the more, the, yeah, the higher defense is, the more HP you're going to regen from the same type orbs that you collect so when this physical goku is in like the last stage of like the legendary goku event and he collects or he changes 15 orbs on the field and you're at like 50 percent hp he's going to heal up all that hp for you these are crazy hp these two units in long events heal hp like absolutely crazy they're very good defensive tanks their attack stats i'm not gonna say are the craziest but they do uh, a lot of damage especially if you give them additionals right changing their own orbs, and literally getting, again, 30% attack and defense per orb obtained. Are they the best units in the game? Absolutely not. Are they the best TORs in the game? Absolutely not. But I feel like in long content, and look at all the teams that they're on, dude. Like, you, Realm of Gods, go to team. Pure Sands, Movie Heroes, Goku's Families, Kamehameha, Bond of Master and Disciple, Turtle School, Attained Evolution, and Bond of Friendship. Like, that's a, that's a lot of categories uh, for this unit. So, there's a lot of options for teams. It's not like, you know, there's two teams for this guy, so you can't really want him on. No, there's a lot of teams with these units. And then Vegeta has Worthy Rivals and Gifted Warriors and Vegeta's family instead of, you know, what Goku has. But you guys get the point, right? Ten categories here, and then for Goku, we're looking at one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight. So, nine categories for Goku, ten for Vegeta. Or is it ten for Vegeta? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, nine. Okay, nine each. With that, that's still really good. Better than two, better than three, better than four. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, I do run these guys a lot. And again, they're very, very powerful. Please don't sleep on them. And if you have been, then hopefully uh, your eyes are a little bit more, you know, open now, if that makes any sense. Next, uh, we do have this LR cell. Now, hear me out, okay? I am actually... Uh, a, 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 I am responsible for the slander on this LR cell. Um, before the link level update, this guy was actually booty cheeks. Like, he was actually just, like, just, no. It's not someone you actually wanted to run. But after the link level update, I think that has definitely changed. And this guy, this guy right now, in my, okay, I would, if I could, I would show you if my phone was connected, but I have this guy in my box literally at SA1 out of 20, okay? And I have met 0% in the hidden potential system. I only have, I have no, like no dudes with this guy whatsoever. I have him at 55%. I tried running him just to see how good he is. Cause I do have my link level 10. Cause I, 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 um, I farmed up his links. I farmed up his link, sorry, with the LR incel. So I got them both done at the same time. Dude, this guy at link level 10 with 90% attack and even start of turn, which again, isn't the craziest, right? Is sitting like around 130% I'm sorry, you know, no, 130k defense, turn one. 130k defense, turn one. With a unit in my, who's SA one out of 20. And 0% in the hidden potential system. That, in my opinion, is very, 130k defense may not be the craziest, but someone who I don't even have anything invested in, I think that's really, really, really good. And of course, having big bad boss is insane. If you have LR, uh, you know, the int cell, they share what, six, seven links? I think, I don't know, if, do they share? I don't think they share every single link together. I don't know if like the int cell has a uh, gentleman or not, but um, they share big bad bosses, which is basically the link that, don't, that really matters. And I do think that the 12 key um, is very powerful because you're recovering 10% HP and it's an aoe so you're attacking all enemies it's very easy to get that aoe off because it's only the 12 key super attack right now if you're facing multiple enemies it may be harder because you're you're getting a lot of key um it's literally one key per enemy so you can end up getting five extra key um plus everything else that this guy is getting so it actually could be difficult sometimes uh, to get the 12 key depending on you know the orb the, the field of orbs and stuff but generally you can easily get this 12 key attack all enemies and recover 10 like this guy is not bad he used to be really, really terrible. Uh, just one of the worst LRs in the game. But after the link level update, I do think he is um, definitely not 
what he used to be in terms of just how garbage he was. I think he's very, very good. And if I had him at rainbow status, you know, um, and SA 20 out of 20, his attack stats would easily be around four or five million, I think, um, with around maybe 170, 180k defense. If you guys have a rainbow link level 10, let me know what his defense is at. Okay, because again, with 130k defense, with no investment at all, but link level 10, he's, he's not bad at all, at all. So there you guys go. Let's move on into uh, my next unit on this list, uh, which is Int Broly. Now, this guy, hear me out, okay? This guy, um, I I don't think he's as underrated as some of these other units on this list, but I see a lot of slander for this guy. So I just want to remind you guys that he is not bad at all. He has the capability of attacking what? Four, super attacking four times per turn? Four super attacks per turn. With 180% attack and defense and 3 key, just because the attack stat doesn't say 5 million to turn 1, doesn't mean he's a bad unit, okay? His attack stat usually reads like around 1.9 to 2 million if you have him 55% like I do. But, dude, he sta it, the, just Just having the ability to super attack 4 times per turn, in my opinion, is absolutely insane. And he does have... 36% damage reduction when he's facing a pure hybrid Saiyan enemy, which of course is a majority of this game. I think we can all agree that or on that point. So 36% damage reduction while performing possibly up to three, four super techs per turn while stacking attack and defense per super tech that you actually go ahead and, and, and perform like this guy um, at his best is an absolute animal yes it is heavily you know built on that uh rng factor which sure i understand um but at his best this guy's an absolute monster and i don't think um even though that his whole passive is built upon chance that it's fair to really like you know criticize this guy he is very 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 good um, so, you know, you give my boy Broly a chance, all right? And just because I'm a Broly simp doesn't mean that... Because uh, if I was a Broly simp, right, to be honest, right, I would have all Broly's on this list, which I don't. But I do see people disrespecting this guy, and I'm not having it, okay? So just letting y'all know, all right? Let's move on to the next unit on this list. I do have this free-to-play Hercule and Exchange boot, okay? Now, hear me out. This unit... Um, is actually, let me, can I actually, oh, let me, let me, uh, widen this up. There you go. This unit is actually very, very powerful. Um, not in terms of offense, but in terms of defense. Okay. Now, yes, they are free to play unit and their stats are not great whatsoever. I, I, I got you, but dude, he just hear me because again, like you, 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 this is something that you overlook, which is fine, but I've run this unit so many times that I've seen them get four, five, six hundred K defense, which is better than a lot of summonable units can ever get to this day. So just hear me out, okay? So they greatly stack defense, which of course is very, very good, okay? They have a medium chance of evading enemy super attack, which of course is very valuable, and I'm going to show you why in just a second. They reduce damage received by 40% when HP is 40% or more. I would say the majority of the fight, you're going to have over 40% HP. which So that means that that 40% damage reduction is going to be very, very, very powerful. Okay, Majin Buu Saga category allies 2 key and 20% attack and defense. And then exchange with Majin Buu when conditions are met. So this guy actually doesn't get any attack and defense at the start of turn. And I understand that. So you want to give this guy additionals in his hidden potential, okay? Additionals, additionals, additionals. Because if you can super attack twice, then you can go ahead and greatly stack your defense twice. And I'm telling you, it's going to add up very, very quickly. Then he exchanges with Majin Buu good upon entering the next attacking turn after the character receives five or more, or gets hit five or more times in battle. What I do with this guy is I, uh, when I first run him, is that I try to avoid all attacks whatsoever, okay? If I put him in third slot, first slot, second slot, wherever I need to put him. There are some times where I have to put him in harm's way, but he ends up dodging because he has a chance to dodge here, right? So the, the longer you can keep him in this state right here of the Hercule and Boo, the more you're going to be able to stack your own defense, okay? Now, the perfect partner for this guy is this physical Boo right here. He is not underrated. I think he's very, very good. I think people also know that he's very, very good. So that's why I don't have him on this list. But the only reason why I pulled him up is just to show you an example of these two work very, very well together, okay? This guy does support uh, this unit right here, but besides that, they're not sharing really any links. But the reason why they work very, very good is because once you do get hit, 
five times after you've been evading attacks and getting additionals and stuff when this unit dude f f like turns into this unit bro attack and defense plus 70 percent doesn't look good sure i get it he doesn't hit that hard either but 70 percent defense on top of all the stacking you just did especially when this unit didn't have any like dude i'm telling you this unit i've seen four five six hundred k defense like i'm telling you that is actually no my bad 100 percent. that wasn't even easy eight my bad 100 percent. so what happens is you run these two they share every single link this unit also gives this physical kid boo who could use extra stats by the way he is very very powerful but he could use extra stats he's getting buffed with two key and 30 percent attacking defense with this guy's passive right here okay and then he guards all attacks when there's a majin busa category ally whose name includes hercule or goku taking the same turn i mean it's possible to get that done um but he doesn't need the guard i'm telling you right now he does not need the guard at all uh, because again i'm telling you like it and the greatly raising defense dude like again okay, this unit i feel like people really have to just run uh just literally hop in if you have if you have this physical kid boo or physical fat boo sorry um hop into any event with a majin boo saga team or majin fat, whatever team you want to run okay and please put the two on rotation or have this guy dodging first as much as possible and then and then you know exchange after getting hit five times sorry and then dude i'm telling you you're going to be very surprised by the outcome of this rotation this unit is very very powerful please 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 don't sleep on this you know what does this guy do after getting easy yet yeah i completely um uh okay no i was good oh so i actually did okay i was good uh yeah, yeah i was good okay so again, let me know what you guys think about that. Um, please do not sleep on this unit. Very, very powerful. And I do use this, use this unit, sorry, um, uh, quite a bit. Uh, next, we do have this Krillin and Android 18. Now, I see a lot of slander for this unit, specifically because there are attacks that does not look good turn one, turn two, turn three. And I get it. I get it. I understand. I get it. All right, you want units to be looking really good immediately, especially compared to other units of the six year anniversary. But dude, when once this unit is built up with 180% to attack and defense, while they're greatly, this unit has probably one of the fastest growing attack stats in this game, right? Goes from like 900K um, attack stat um, to getting like, literally like 1.5 on like the next attack step because again they greatly stack attack and they're getting attack and defense plus 30 percent with each attack performed and the beautiful thing is that they change orbs so getting this second part of the passive launching additional super attack with five or more in key spheres obtained is not that hard again since they change orbs and you can manipulate the field in such a way where it's actually it's it's not sometimes you do get shafted with the or the orbs you change i get it but I feel like a good portion of the time you're going to be able to get additional super attack. So that's two super attacks per turn, greatly raising their attack twice with getting an extra 60% attack and defense, right? So again, they build up incredibly, incredibly fast. Their defense at the end isn't the craziest, but they do have cold judgment, right? 25% defense, which they share, by the way, with the Tech TN and Masarosia, the other free-to-play unit of the anniversary. So it's very easy to put these two on rotation and have them both looking very good defensively and offensively. And remember, Tech TN and Masarosia are giving this unit three key and 40% attack, and, or is giving this unit three key and 40% attack and defense. So, um, like, once this unit, I, I've seen six, seven million attack stats with this unit right here. Which again, a lot of Sunbowl units don't even achieve to this day. Sure, they start off very, very, you know, sloppy, um, very, very weak. But if you give them a chance to build up and build them up and even run them again with Tech, TNA, Masaroshi on a Reps of Universe 7 team, it's six, seven million attack stats. I'm telling you. So please do not sleep on this unit. Yes, they don't look very good. Um, but once they're built up, they are very, very very powerful hopefully you keep that in consideration and then last but not least on this list again there's more underrated units on this list more underrated units but this is just the ones that i can think of for this video uh we do have this tech lord slug now this guy again i don't think he's as underrated as other units on this list but i don't really see a lot of people utilizing um him especially on extreme tech i think on extreme tech he's very very powerful um now this guy again isn't 
the craziest unit of all time, but he's free to play. And because he's free to play and everyone has access to him, especially his EZA, and what he, like, I think his value is actually insane. So first things first, he has two insane links, okay? Thirst for Conquest and Big Bad Bosses, which adds up to 40% to attack and defense. Now, on cat on teams like movie bosses, space traveling warriors, terrifying conquerors, you have a lot of units that have Thirst of Conquest and Big Bad Bosses, like LR um, Turles, right? Or LR Bojack, for example. So this unit has a place with those other units, sharing 40% to attack and defense, which is going to boost this guy's offenses and his defenses as well. He gets three key and 100% attack and defense, which of course is fine. Um, he gets attack and defense up to 30%. The more HP remaining, the greater the stats boost. I mean, that's fine. Again, like at the start of turn, you're going to be at 130% attack and defense. Uh, the weaker you are, the less that, that boost is going to be, which again, I understand it's not the craziest thing. Um, but when facing two or more enemies, now this is the value that I see with him in SBR, especially for extreme tech. I beat extreme tech SBR. If you're someone who, um, let's say you're new to the game and can't beat extreme tech SBR, which is definitely one of the harder ones when you're starting out, this guy's a free to play option is very good. Okay. When facing two or more enemies, you're getting an extra 30% to attack and defense. So in SBR, you're immediately starting off with three key and 130% attack and defense with his medium chance to stun. And then at the start of turn, you have another 30%. So it's actually a three key and 160% attack and defense. For a free to play unit, that's very, very good, especially, especially with these links, okay? And then recovers 30% HP whenever HP is 30% or less. What do you see with that? Or what don't you see, actually? You don't see the once only restriction. So what, what, what this means is that in difficult content, it's very easy to fall below a certain HP threshold, especially 30%. So what happens is you fall below 30% HP, this guy heals. You do it again, this guy heals. So he's one of those units that can infinitely heal when you fall below 30% HP. Now, again, 30% heal isn't the craziest, but it can easily save you on top of everything else that he does. So there's a lot of value to this unit, all right? A lot of value. Please don't sleep on this guy. And yes, he is free to play, so you can obtain him um, right now if you really wanted to. So keep that in mind. Again, this is just my list of uh, underrated units. I do think that um, there are more underrated units in this game. Maybe, again, maybe you run this Vegeta and this Goku a lot, so you don't really think so. And that's perfectly fine. But just from what I've seen, um, in my point of view, which again, there's millions of point of views. Um, I just don't see many people utilizing them, uh, especially for long content where they end up being very good offensively, defensively, healing for your team. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what more you can want from units like this. So again, let me know what you think. What are your most underrated units in this game? What is your opinion on that? And I'll see you guys in the next one.